<laughs> well, you know what it is. It's that time where it's we go Sunday. over. Yes, Sunday, our fun day where we go over all of our our buys, our sells, and of course them juicy, juicy dividends. And in my case, the options as well because those are awesome as well. Free money, basically. Free so, money. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe what we have at the bottom here is January the 8th. We've got me selling a cash secured put on MPW, none other than the great MPW, um, $350 strike three weeks out on uh, January 26th expiration. And I collected $32 and 34 cents a premium. That was close to 10% on my money for a few weeks. And, you know, I may get assigned another hundred shares at $3 and 50 cents. But if I don't, I make 10% almost on that money. Pretty good deal. I mean, that's, that's like 120% a year. It's basically free money, except I, yeah, there's literally no downside or risk to doing that. <laughs> that I'm being sarcastic for the record. So um, next you will see that I sold a cash secured put on Paramount Global at the $13.50 strike, also expiring January 26th, and collected a little over $30 in premium for that. So not quite as high of a uh, yield, but still not too bad there. Um, it's like a little bit under 3% on my money for that. Also received a ginormous qualified dividend from our favorite nicotine company, Altria Group, $196. <sighs> nice. 10% so, yield right there. So all of you smokers and vapors out there, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate that. Keep it up. And <laughs> um, <laughs> don't quit. Nobody likes a quitter. <laughs> then we've got another cash dividend from UWM, United Wholesale Mortgage, $10. But it's a, it's a, it's a really small position, so I'll take it. I'll take that 10 bucks. I hear that you can get uh, a Starbucks drink for 10 bucks. So yeah. Yeah, I mean, so actually half a drink. That's value right there. That is. Um, and then, of course, now this is the biggest dividend, I think, that I've seen in a while. Um, $225 from Medical Properties Trust. That's basically free money. Risk-free. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like your total return couldn't possibly be impacted. Yeah, no, no. My, to my, my total return is, it, it, well, it's something. <laughs> There, we'll just say there is no return right now, but it's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm collecting a dividend while I wait and see what happens. Um, now, up at top, here is something that maybe you haven't seen before, but it's called rolling an option where I bought rolling, back. Rolling, rolling, Yeah. Rolling. So the thing with the strike prices is, well, Paramount stock price dropped lower than that $14. And I didn't want to take assignment again at 14. So I decided to buy to close that option and sell another one further out at a cheaper price for a net credit. Um, the net credit was a little less than $20, but also I saved the $50 of on paper losses. I would have taken getting assignment on that. It's just a, it's a strategy to, sort of save yourself money a little bit there with the uh, cash secured puts by merge with that money. <laughs> exactly. Um, by the way, I'm still waiting on that mug. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it, no. It's still, it's stuck in uh printing status or whatever. Like they're still making it. I'll investigate that. We got to go crack the whips, buddy. But yeah, I mean, pretty big week for me over $400 worth of dividends. Um, like, 80 something dollars, I think, worth of options premium. I mean, pretty good, pretty good little week there. That's some cash back into my cash balance. All right. It's Christmas morning right now that we start, want to start the dividends or the buys. I like the dividends. All mm -hmm. right. Start it strong. Cash flow is king. 
start off, I got my first ever $1.50 dividend from Disney after holding it for like four years. So thank you for your service, Disney. Thank you, Ida. Welcome to the clubhouse. Uh, That's interesting to see their situation, but I'll take that dividend happily. Um, Then I got $13.33 from Altria reinvested as well. My last dividend from Altria, if you've been watching the weekly recaps, was $13.13. So I'm up pretty much $0.20 for my last dividend just for the power of dividend growth and dividend reinvestment. So as the kids say, dividend snowball is rolling. Then, did you say special dividends? Because I got $5.01 from from Costco. I'll take that happily. That was actually more than I thought I'd get. Uh, So... Thank you to Costco and all the people at shop there. Appreciate it. Keep doing it. Lastly, I got $4.26 from Realty Income, which has been growing every month. All right. Now we got our buys and sells for the week, and this is a big one. I was home all week, so I did some portfolio reconstruction because I saw some good opportunities. First, I sold my entire position of Johnson & Johnson at a pretty much flat you know, return at $162. We've talked to you on the channel of why we think Johnson Johnson is overrated. Um, it's just basically really staggering growth. It's a great business at the end of the day, but just not a lot of growth ahead of it. So I reallocated that money. I put $100 in a Starbucks. Um, I bought $90 for the Vici and $100 into Visa. Visa, out of these three, I would argue is probably the most overpriced, you could say. But I still think long term, it is a reasonable fair price. Then later this week, I put $30 back in a Starbucks and $92.08. And lastly this week, I bought one more share of TKO at $79.57. So pretty active week when it comes to buying. I also deposited $750 into the account. So we have some more uh, transactions hopefully to be coming if there's a dip soon. That's pretty nice. You know what else? Nice earning season. I knew you were going to say that. I had a feeling. So mm -mm -mm. what do we have here? Yeah, it's Banks Week. That's what I call it, Banks Week. Yeah, so interesting. Next week should be the good week. Yeah, so I am seeing some interesting ones. Um, Discover Financial is a stock that I cover on the channel. Um, You might have remembered... um, um, right before their last earnings, I said something to the effect of thinking that they were undervalued and their price has now gone up like tremendously since then. Immediately. Right. I know. I, I definitely regret not pulling the trigger there, but good to know that, um, I'm still calibrated to sniff out the value. Um, let's see. Ooh, Taiwan Semiconductor. That might uh, that might give us some ideas of what's going on in uh, the chips market. Um, as an Intel shareholder, kind of curious because demand and stuff. You'll if demand is down, you'll probably see it on TIA, uh, TSMC, right? Yeah. Um, I do have a hundred shares of KeyBank, so I know. Hopefully, Bank. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully things go well there because. Uh, banks were one of the things that just gave me the worst performance last year other than REITs. So I'm hoping for, uh, for good news on the banking front. Um, hmm. You see anything else in there that's interesting? I mean, T-Bank. Mm. The official bank of the Ryan Dangler show. And Ally. Yeah, yeah. Ally used to be known for having the one of the better high yield savings accounts back which in the day. I have nice what are they giving you on that 4.25 percent that's not too bad it's nice yeah so yeah that's an interesting earning that's an interesting earnings week um discover financial and TSM are probably the ones I'm most interested in even though I don't really own either of them except in the SCH I, or I fractional shares but yeah all right well, the only place better to be here on Sunday afternoons is the Kish Lookings Live every Saturday at 8 o'clock yeah. Eastern. Be there. You don't want to miss it. 
Right. Some people Fiscal, go to where church. Can people find you. <laughs> well, this is the only church that I need. Um, so praise be to dividends. And um, so well, they can find me down below. I'm trying to get, again, get to my first hundred followers on Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it. Um, so they can find me at Mr. Macho Mog on there. Because of obvious reasons, that's my name there. Um, and of course, my channel's link is in the description and all that. I, I always encourage people to join my Discord, become a channel member and all that stuff. But all in all, I think everybody here knows where to find me. All right. Uh, everybody pray for me that Uncle Blizzard doesn't take your boy away or too early. Uh, and check out the dude of it in sucks that drugs merchandise link in the description. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna look super jacked. You know, yep. I've got I've got the due dividend stocks, not drugs tank top right yep. here. Um, if you want your traps to really pop and you want the Death Star delts and the juicy biceps. You don't even need trend. It makes no, you not bad. even not even not even just, right. you know, a little bit of a, just a little bit of bicep curls and a due dividend stocks, not drugs tank top. That's all you need. You're good for life. One hundred. Right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Do it in socks, hot drugs, and of course, remember, cash flow is king.